These are pharaoh cuttlefish found off the coast of Thailand. One of the features that make these beautiful creatures so interesting is that they have a color display built right into their skin. Hi, my name is Roger Diebold. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences at Harvard University. I'd like to tell you about a revolutionary new display technology coming out of the Clark Lab called Sepia. Sepia is a reflective and mechanically flexible display inspired by the incredible camouflage abilities of cuttlefish, squid, and other cephalopods. Before I tell you how Sepia works, let me explain how these incredible animals change their coloration. Cuttlefish and other cephalopods have specialized cells throughout their skin called chromatophores, seen as dark spots within the white circle. Surrounded by muscle fibers, chromatophores are pigmented and flexible. When the muscles contract, they deform the chromatophores from a spherical shape into a disc, many times the original cell diameter. Chromatophores, when they're small and spherical, can hardly be seen. However, when they're acted upon by muscle fibers, expanding them to many times their original diameter, they can be seen quite easily. When many chromatophores expand at once, they create a large visual effect. Cephalopods have chromatophores of many different colors distributed throughout their skin, which are constantly expanding and contracting, making them a primary mechanism of color change in these animals. So how do we take the chromatophore concept and make a display? Well, we first realized that the concept itself is really just a transition between a small and imperceptible spot of color to a larger and much more visible spot. To make our sepia pixel, we take a perforated white sheet and put ink below so only the color of the sheet is visible. Then we pump the ink upwards through the holes so it covers the pixel surface and can be seen easily. Using transparent rubber membranes on the top and bottom, we make the pixel self-contained. This particular device is manually controlled, but illustrates the operating principle that relies on a reversible change between a small point of color and one that is much larger in size. Now you might ask yourself, how do we pump the ink around? Well, we work with something called artificial muscles which are thin sheets of soft rubber that deform and move when voltage is applied. Here is a video of our monochromatic proof-of-concept device operating in real time, whose pixels are about one centimeter in diameter. Although not optimized in several ways, it shows on-off transitions on the order of tens of milliseconds, fast enough for video display refresh rates. artificial muscles on the underside of sepia in order to controllably move the ink around. You can find out more about artificial muscles on my website, but the basic idea is that we use electrostatic charge to squeeze a thin sheet of rubber to make it lose tension. Now when we apply a voltage to the artificial muscle and it loses tension a little bit, it pulls ink down below the pixel surface. When the ink flows completely below the pixel surface, it can no longer be seen so easily, and the pixel reflects the color of the support, which is white. Now, depending on the amount of voltage that you apply to the artificial muscle, you can control the amount of ink that remains on the surface, giving you the ability to generate grayscale for that particular pixel color. Also in development is a full color version of Sepia, which essentially stacks three pockets of ink on top of one another to display the resulting combination of inks to the viewer. Stacking of the ink pockets allows for effective use of the display area, ensuring highly saturated colors. More information on the full color device can be found on the website. So what does the future of Sepia hold? Well, we in the Clark Lab believe that Sepia has enormous potential as a lightweight, energy efficient, and high quality digital display for large areas for use in digital billboards, and other outdoor signage. Other applications of SEPI include active camouflage for the military, rapidly deployable signage for disaster relief, and 
large area art installations. As an aspiring entrepreneur, I'm in the process of forming a startup company called Sepia Displays, attempting to take the cephalopod camouflage concept from scientific curiosity to commercial reality. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you would like to discuss Sepia further. Thanks for watching.